Welcome to Beyond Our Focus. I'm Stefan, this is Amanda, and this is Unlocking the Beyond, where we pretend to delve into the unknown. <laughs> Try to answer some of your questions. Uh, today is March 27th, and I believe we're, we're talking about... What are we talking about, Amanda? <laughs> Enlighten me. Today, we are discussing lake monsters. Lake monsters as in general. Yes. As a whole. In general, but we're going to go over just the specific... Fewish? Fewish? Because technically there's 51 lake monsters. You don't want to go over each individual monster minute by minute? We can. Let's just speed through them. Speed through them. Speed through them. But no, there's 51 lake monsters, and that's by Wikipedia's count, so we don't know. We Probably really more. Um, I think according to some of them, I, I think they really fudged the line with lake monster and what was a leaf floating <laughs> in the river. But... <laughs> And then there's also the case that when technically they share the same lake, isn't it just the same monster by chance? Shape-shifting monster. Oh, okay. Got it. So, where do we want to start? I, I guess, don't know. Where do we want to start? I guess the best place to start is at the top because everybody knows the Loch Ness Monster. Yes, I think everyone has heard about the Loch Ness Monster. A.K.A. the beloved Nessie. Why, why was it nicknamed Nessie? The Loch Ness. So Ness. So Nessie. Nessie. Okay. Ness. Nessie. Sure. Okay. And then it's from the Scottish. Nessie is from the Scottish Highlands. Um, gained worldwide attention in 1933 and has had sightings all the way up until 2015. Did he so. die in 2015? What happened in 2016, <laughs> 17, 18? What happened? No one's reported it. <laughs> um, but... Earlier on in the 6th century A.D. Okay. Okay. There is apparently written work describing a water beast in that area. So, technically, Nessie's, Nessie's been around the block for a while. I haven't ever seen something, something predated Nessie. Yeah, there, there's, there's, some, there's some predating to Nessie, to Nessie, and that was Champy. How do we know Champy predates Nessie? I don't know. Well, we really, really don't, because, I mean, that that has to, 6th century A.D., that's got to be everything. It's pretty be, far. Yeah. <laughs> it seems further back than uh, the champion there. Uh, I think that they were basing it off the 1933 kind of thing. But uh, we also, going down the list, we have Chessie from Chesapeake Bay. What is Chessie? Chessie. What is Chessie? What is Chessie? I believe, Other than a name. I believe Chessie is the same as... I want to say all of the ones that have the same feel to them, like Champy, Chessie, and Nessie, all have the, what is it, plesiosaur? Plesiosaur look? So it's the long neck. Long neck and water. Yeah. Long, <laughs> long neck, water, the big wide body and the flippers. Uh, what are you? I'm a long neck. Yes. I'm a three horn. <laughs> Aw. Ducky. Ducky. Ducky, ducky, ducky. No, that's Tukey Tukey. Well, we combine Tukey Tukey and Ducky Ducky. <laughs> Same thing. So, uh, Chessie from Chesapeake Bay was seen from 1977 to the 1980s. Apparently didn't stick around that long. Died. <laughs> These things are just dying off every, every chance they get. <laughs> Apparently Canada is very popular for lake monsters. Oh, but... Canada. Because oh. we have the Pogos. The Pocos. Yes. We have the Pogo, Pogo family? Yes, the Pogo family. We have the Manny Pogo, the Ogo Pogo, and then the e Ego Pogo. And what are the Pogo family? Once again, I, I believe it is along the same line of creatures. Actually, they might be the serpent ones. The serpent ones, yeah. Yeah. We have the, the snake ones, the serpent family. The serpent family. But yes, they're all from Canada. I don't know if maybe they're the same one. And Otherwise been... known as the water dragons. The water dragons. Which I believe Nessie was actually the one that inspired the water horse. The movie. Water horse. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Yeah. I remember seeing it. It's a good it, movie. It's and I remember enjoying movie. it. And her having, didn't she have like guide it and so it could like jump over this gate or something to escape? Or am I thinking That's like free, free willies? willies. <laughs> That is definitely free will. It sounds like it was that movie too. But okay. it's a good shot. Good, good job. I thought it was a gate in like a long thing, and they had to jump over this I, gate to escape. I thought, was this not that part of that too? I Were they going to close it off or something, or block the rear so he wasn't going to be able to escape? I want to say they tried. 
like they were trying to block off some section, but <laughs> the whole jumping over the thing is just free willy-ish and just like go. You're telling me free willy and champ uh, Nessie isn't related? <sighs> Gosh not, darn not it! Not quite, not quite. But the uh, <laughs> if we go back to the uh, our, our our favorite is Champy. Champy is our favorite one. It is. He is our. Well, okay, he's New York, Vermont, but still. I have that he one. is our Loch Ness Monster, okay? <laughs> he's technically in the country, so we claim him? But Or her? Or it? I, or... I, was, I thought they... I, I want to say they've been generalizing Nessie as a girl and then Champy as a boy. I, I don't but know. I they are sea monsters. I don't I'm... think anyone's gotten close enough to check. Um, <laughs> but... Champy dates back to Native American tribes, um, their legends and stories, and then we, then we have Captain Crumb of. Is it related to the Crumb from Harry Potter? It could be. It is very possible. Okay. But as long as they're related, I'm fine. Um, in 1819, Captain Crumb uh, said that from a distance, but he was very, very sure that from a distance, from even, a distance. even from that distance. He saw a 187-foot creature. Did, did he measure it from a distance? Yes. Did he have, did he have his, his Google tape measure and the little thingamajig and like... Yes, he did. 187 exact. Yes. Okay. And it apparently had two large sturgeon and a billfish. To what? Two large sturgeon. What's a sturgeon? It's a fish. A sturgeon's a fish? Yes. I don't fish. I'm not a fisherman. He's a fisherman. I can tell. <laughs> I'm not a fisherman. I don't go fishing. But it had two sturgeon and a I mean, I thought you meant it was a surgeon. And I'm like, were there surgeons following yeah, this so guy? Yeah, surgeons following Champy. Okay? I don't know. And a billfish. And a bill. Well, see, that has fish in the name. It's got to be a fish. No, that one's the surgeon. His name what? is Bill. Well, gosh darn it. <laughs> His name is Bill Fish, okay? Well, okay. Dr. Bill Fish. Dr. Bill Fish, the surgeon. Yes. Anyways, so it apparently had these three creatures falling behind mm. this 187 foot creature. Were they underwater when he saw them? I actually don't know. I didn't say that. If they were fish, wouldn't they be underwater? So, therefore, how did he see them? Surface. Okay, sure. We'll go with it. Go with it. Okay. So, apparently, this creature that he saw had three teeth. Three very specific teeth. Yes. Did he, did he describe, do we have a picture? Were there like two at the front and one down through the center? Or are they just kind of random and wild? Basilisk. Bas- why not? He saw a basilisk. They had two teeth, I'm pretty sure. It looked like a snake. Where's the third teeth coming from? Was it the horn? Okay. It had the eyes the color of onions. What kind of onions? Again, Does that mean they were the red? Basilisk. Does that mean they were like a purplish? Are we talking about yellow, orangish color? I don't know, but we're getting closer. It, it's a, it had a belt of red around its neck. Okay. And a white star on its forehead. God. This sounds so familiar like something else. What else has a star <laughs> on its forehead? Is it like a Pokemon or something? <laughs> he saw a Pokemon. That's really what it was. Oh my goodness, we're never getting through this. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to trap it. It's a, it's a no. crying shame. His Pokeballs were out that day. It's, it's very possible. But from 1819 to 2005... Which creature are we talking about? That's Champy. We oh, that's Champy. Champy. That's Champy. Okay. Champy. Champy. Champy is the onion eye-colored... Are you Champy? Three-teeth, white-starred thing. Red belt? He's white? Could be. He's white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, well, um, moving on. How about we go to... Uh, Semi lake creatures. Semi lake. Let's, let's hop on over to uh, <laughs> uh, Folk Lake, Indiana, real quick, and okay. visit the 500 pound snapping turtle. Okay. Yes. I don't normally consider snapping turtles naturally to be lake monsters, but. From apparently, he was seen in 1898 and then again in 1948, and only those two times. Just those two times? Yes. This, this 500 pound snapping turtle. Yes, it's a giant cooter. What? A giant cooter. I associate that word with other things. <laughs> but, okay. 
I don't know what we're talking about anymore. We we move subjects. <laughs> it's okay. Let's throw it out there that its nickname was also the Beast of Busco. Busco. Yeah. But uh, they apparently drained the lake to try to find this turtle. They do understand turtles move. No. Like they they they, fit, they have legs, and they can they can walk. But you'd think that while they're draining the lake, you'd see a giant ass turtle. Who knew? He could have. Legs are big. They can't cover every section. Well, yes. So. Okay, the largest snapper turtle, according to the record, 250. 250? So it's twice as big as the largest. Now, how do they know he was 500 pounds? Did they, did they weigh him? When did they weigh him and how? Did, I'd be very curious. I still think he should be... He's also, apparently he was also small enough to sneak past him. I don't know. I, I think that either he needs to go get some pizza or oh. he, <laughs> yes, he, need, he he was out for pizza that day or he was off talking to Godzilla. Well, one, Chuck Turtles love pizza. So, very plausible. I, I fully credit that. It's definitely one of the possibilities. <laughs> Two... He could have flown away and talked with Godzilla. I, I agree. The turtles are also known for flying. So Yes. I've seen it. You've seen it? I've seen it. Where? The camera. He's got to be a distant relative to Gamera. Oh. Gamera flies. You saw Gamera in person? Yes, of course. When? How come you didn't Later. me? Later. I mean, next time. Next time. Next time? Next time. Okay. Promise. I'll bring pizza. Perfect. <laughs> he'll, he'll appreciate it. Pizza. <laughs> okay. So as far as our lake monsters go, um, it, it's iffy. Uh, it, they, you, most people, we see the pictures and stuff. They're really grainy. We've watched a couple videos. We saw the most credible evidence to ever exist earlier, okay? It was it was scary, okay? It was scary. She was scary. Yeah, she was scary. Or she was scared. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of language involved. There was a lot of bubbly water and then a giant... Flop of flop, and then screaming, and then let's get out of here, and then it's okay, it's still over there, and I don't know. Next time, jump into the water with the camera. I want, I want proof. <laughs> if it eats you, it was for science. Oh, okay. But what if they can't get the camera back? Then how are you supposed? To, is it supposed to be streaming? Put it online. Next Live stream. Even better. It's always, always uploading to the cloud. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Think of them. But most people are thinking either these people are seeing giant eels, they're seeing Lake Sturgeon, they're seeing Gar Pike, or they're seeing some distant relative of the crocodile family. Or just a dinosaur that's been around just chilling under the water. If, it's, if, if we still have dinosaurs, I, is it the beginning or is it the end? <laughs> because Jurassic Park, here we come. <laughs> We didn't create the dinosaurs, okay? They're just here. But if they're already here, we can now clone them. Jurassic Park. Well, Nessie is very good at hiding. He get, <sighs> she gets her tips from Bigfoot. But apparently, there's a lot of different Nessies or Champies, and they're in a lot of different locations. I mean, the one we saw earlier was what off the off of like Florida's uh, the ocean somewhere. What did it say? It's somewhere in Florida. Oh, the, that was the most credible one. Yes, yes. most credible, the credible one. video was off of Florida. Yeah. Somewhere off Florida. So that's more like the ocean. Yeah. Which you can get anywhere. Anywhere. Well, what I, well, when you think about it, if there are still d dinosaurs or very close, you know, relatives of dinosaurs, they're going to be at the bottom of the ocean. I mean, that's where Godzilla came from. We know. We've seen it. Megalodon. He was hiding at the bottom of the ocean. Megalodon. He doesn't stand. He just. He doesn't. He, Godzilla's bigger. I don't care. Meg I mean, he probably Godzilla probably ate that. The Meg's still down there. Uh, okay, multiple Megs. <laughs> yes. We'll get a Meg too. Why not? Megalodon is still down. Meg. Oh my God! It's a Megalodon. But yes, that that that's pretty much rounds up all of our lake monsters. They do have different ones as far as, you know. Just, they have mermen, and the ugly mermen? turtles, and eels, and that's about it. We have lots of lake monsters. I have not personally seen any of them. We'll have to go looking one day. We have to find some of these things. If you guys would like to see us go on an adventure, let us know. And somehow fund us, because I'm not sure how we're doing it. <laughs> we'll go.
go through the Google thing. <laughs> free virtual tour. That's about the best we can do. If you guys want to see us go on a free virtual tour, let us know. Yeah. Google flags us. You cannot do it and film it. Damn it. Oh, well. Well, that was, that was something. If you've seen anything, you let us know. Send video proof. We'd love to watch it. We'll put it up here for our large three and a half audience. So, yes. Perfect. I think we need to just start giving out companion cubes. We have to get one first. Oh, companion cubes. Well, anyway, as always, you can reach me at SARS Untraveled. Reach Amanda at KZ Pub. Reach the show at Beyond Our Focus. Oh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and podcast services around the globe. Maybe. Sweden. Maybe. Sweden. 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 Oh, anything else? I think we are good. Everybody have a safe trip in the lake. Yes, if you're going out there, <laughs> be safe. It is all for science anyway. So Be safe. Take a camera. Take a camera that's always streaming. Don't want to lose anything. But... Till next time, long days and pleasant nights.